Hello, this is um, the continuation of sequences. This uh, tutorial is going to look at the descending third pattern in more detail. So we start here with uh, one chord, we're going to be in G minor. And so let's just cut and paste or, uh, the pattern so that you see that the exact voicing is maintained from one chord to the next. So that's moving down a third. I'll change the Roman numerals in a second. To a sixth chord, then down again to a four chord. So now, first things, let's note this as typical. I've doubled the root of the one chord and subsequently the six and the four. So as I described in the summary earlier, the simplest bass line is stepwise motion, creating the five, five, six chord on as the passing chord between the one and the six, and then down a third, the three six, and again down a third, the one six. So, while it's not imperative, it is most common that the soprano is, has the third so that you're in parallel tenths with the bass um, for this kind of pattern. So you get the parallel tenths between bass and soprano, so the soprano moves down by step as well. Now, for the five chord in between, we alternate the alto simply has to move um, to double the tenor, then up to double the bass again, down doubling the tenor, up to double the bass, down to double the tenor. So this version of this particular um, stepwise version in the bass is called the descending 5-6 technique. And that's a you can see it between the bass and the tenor voice. You have a fifth here, bass moves down, it's a sixth. Now a fifth, moves to a sixth. So, um, hence descending five six technique. Again, you're alternating root position triad with a first inversion triad. Root position, first inversion. Therefore, breaking up all the parallels. Let's listen. I want to call attention to the fact that the 5-6 chord here does not have the raised leading tone. It's just the natural 7th uh, scale degree. That's because the 5 is not leading back to 1. If it was a 1-5-6 to 1 common progression that we've been doing a lot this semester, that would be do ti do in the bass. But when it moves on to a 6, it's a do te le And that's um, true for any case where the leading tone is not leading back to a one but going to another chord. Alright, let's look at another version of this basic progression, the root position version. Oops, wrong voice. Move the bass down to a root position five. So this is the famous Pachelbel Canon bass. In the minor it's Do, Sol, Le, Me, Fa, and then Do. Now that, if you'll look up now, without making any adjustments, is the exact same thing as the alto voice. So what the alto does is basically takes the bass voice. It moves down in thirds with the soprano. So essentially the alto and the bass are switching voices. So let's listen. Oops, put that wrong chord. Let's listen to that. And of course, this works exactly the same way in the major. Okay.